Hey guys, it's Jess, and it's been about four years since my last video. I've been away from my channel for a long time, but I watch booktube videos pretty much every day. And the booktube a is starting again this year, and I thought I would do a TBR video. So of course the booktube a has its challenges, as it does every year, and I definitely want to try to accomplish as many of those as I can, but my own personal challenge is definitely to read my own damn books. I have been so bad for the last, like, five or six years really, if I'm honest, of reading books that I get at my library and sometimes on my Kindle and almost completely ignoring the physical books that I have on my TBR shelf. And I guess, I don't know if any of you relate to this, but I guess it's because they feel safe. Like there's no timeline, they're there forever. Whereas library books, they have a return date. So you have to read them within a certain amount of time. And it's starting to bother me though. I don't like seeing these books just languish on my shelves and I'm sort of at that point where it's like with some of them I need to either read them or I should start culling and getting rid of some of them. So that is my own personal challenge is to read as many of the books on my physical TBR shelf as I can. Now the first book Tubathon challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover, which is pretty easy. So the book that I chose is Loose Girl by Carrie Cohen, and this is a story about a girl talking about her own sexual promiscuity and addiction, and it just sounded really interesting to me when I bought this book like six or seven years ago, so I'm finally going to read it. The second book to Bathon challenge is to read a hyped book, and I chose Uprooted by Naomi Novik. And this one is not so much hyped now, but it definitely was when it came out in like 2015. And again, it's just been languishing on my shelves. It was a gift from my mom for Christmas. And I actually really do expect to enjoy this one. It has fairy tale elements, which I always enjoy. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is going to be the biggest book of my pile. Um, so I probably am going to start with this one. So the third book to bathon challenge is a book that you can read in one day. And for that I've chosen Going on 12 by Candace F. Ransom. And this is the first book in a series that I read a really long time ago. It was probably about 10 or 11. This was published in the late 80s. And I actually never read the first book, which is this one of the series. I read all the others. So I read um, 13, 14 in holding, and 15 at last, but I couldn't find this one. And so finally, I ordered it online like years ago and of course proceeded to never read it. So I'm looking forward to finally finishing the series. Um, it's actually, I mean, of course, no one would ever know about the series now because it was published so long ago, but it's actually a really charming series about a girl who grows up and she has a really cute voice and I just really enjoyed it. And so I'm looking forward to finally finishing this series after all these years. The fourth book to be on challenge is to read a book about a character that is very different from you and for that I chose The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho and this is about an Andalusian shepherd boy who goes on a quest and it's pretty different from me. Um, I've heard amazing things about this book. Um, I think it's pretty widely known and I've never read it and I would like to and I think it's a pretty short book and it's got magical realism which is one of my favorite things so I'm looking forward to this one. The fifth book challenge is to read a book that you only read outside and this is going to be challenging for me. I do work full time and I don't have all day to read outside. It also depends a lot on the weather. There's a lot of storms this time of year where I live. But um, I'm going to do my best and for that I chose The Firefly Dance. This is a collaboration of stories um, of Sarah Addison Allen, Catherine Magendi, Augusta Troba, Phyllis Shriver. Um, and I got it because Sarah Addison Allen is one of my favorite authors. I really love her style of writing. And this has been on my shelf for a super long time and I am looking forward to finally reading it. Plus, The Firefly Dance just seems like the perfect book to read in the summertime. 
the sixth book challenge is to read a book you bought only for the cover and this one was a hard one for me because I don't really choose by that I mean I enjoy beautiful book covers because who doesn't but I don't buy books because of that much anymore I don't really buy books much anymore but um, I decided to pick The Hen Who Dreamed She Could Fly by Sumi Huang and I found out about this through um, Erica and I've forgotten her channel name now but I'll link it down below um, she read this and really enjoyed it and um, I went ahead and ordered it online um, because I couldn't find it at my local library and it does have a really pretty cover and it's super short so I thought this one would be a good one to choose because I do like the cover and then the seventh challenge is, as it is every year, to read seven books. And it's a tall order, but I'm going to see what I can do. And I chose um, I Feel Bad About My Neck and Other Thoughts on Being a Woman by Nora Ephron. Um, Nora Ephron is a very famous screenwriter, and unfortunately she has passed away now, but she um, co-wrote When Harry Met Sally and a lot of other um, romantic comedies and I got a bunch of her books on sale one time and I've always wanted to read some of her books so this was a good time. It's short. I think it's going to be funny. Um, so this seemed like a good time to read this one. And then, as if I don't have enough books to read already, I did sneak in one last book as an alternative in case I read all the others, which seems unlikely, but you never know. Um, this is not one of the books on my TBR. Um, it is one that I got from the library, but I decided for a change of pace to also pick up Sunny Side Up by Jennifer L. Holm and Matthew Holm, and this is... A book about a girl during the summer and it looks super cute it's a graphic novel and so I just thought okay if you read all of those books then you can read this one too and it looks super cute so this is my eighth alternative book so that is my book to be on TBR for 2017 um, I'm hoping to do pretty well I'm actually even thinking about vlogging for the first time I've never done that but I'm kind of in the mood I've been watching a lot of readathon vlogs lately and it looked fun so I'm thinking about doing that as well um, as I mentioned I do work a full-time job so there are going to be plenty of times when I can't read but I still am hopeful I have a pretty I have a pretty open evening schedule so I'm hoping to be able to still read a lot and like I said I'm thinking of vlogging the whole thing to show you how well I do um, for those of you who are participating I would love to know what you're reading and I wish everyone a lot of luck this is always a fun one to do which is one of the reasons why I wanted to participate and do a TBR video so I'm really looking forward to it I will try to also be involved on Instagram and on Twitter um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the video challenges or not that might be that might be a lot, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, I'm happy to see all of you. If anyone is watching this, anyone who used to watch my videos, and like I said, let me know if you guys are participating and what you're reading, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.